Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations to all fellow laborers of the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. Now, as it is written, how are the things of Esau searched out and his hidden things sought out? Well, he, sim he simply makes it easy for you when he puts it right in your face. You know, he just lays it all out, put it right out in the open. And, um, you know, it can very well be just out of pride or the Lord just putting the spirit on him to expose himself. Um, this movie, you know, which is buzzing, you know, all around uh, the country. It left a lot of uh, clues. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, cryptic hidden things that, you know, if you wasn't uh, thoroughly watching it, you know, it would uh, slide right up under your nose. This is the kind of movie that, you know, you might want to watch, you know, quite a few times just so you can, you know, get all the meat. All right. Because uh, they're going to always slide certain things that they want you to know in these films because it's called predictive programming. Now, in this instance, in which um, this was a, a, a TikTok that I saw and I also shared it, where the people who caught this, you know, they happened to be watching the scene, you know, with uh, Julia Roberts and uh, Ethan Hawke. And uh, the TV was flashing of uh, the mainstream news reporting the cyber attacks and it had a map. And on that map, it had an actual QR code on it. Now, maybe some people may have uh, caught that. Maybe some people didn't see that. But it had a QR code. And when you uh, scan that QR code, it actually takes you to a location. And in that location, it sends you to a, a, a site. And I believe it's in uh, Kentucky, either Kentucky or um Virginia, where there's an abandoned amusement park. Now, I don't know what significant message that they're um, sending, you know, if it has any type of significance. But what I do point out is how Esau is really telling on himself. And these higher ups that green like these films it's like as if they um i don't know it's like they're trolling like they're deliberately putting these things out there and we know the scriptures say in uh, isaiah the 47 chapter that the skirts will be lifted up Matter of fact, let me go to it. This is Isaiah 47 and verse 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. In other words, you know, be completely exposed. Because the Lord's going to lift up the skirt and show everybody the shame. All right. And this is what the Lord is doing before he actually bring this place completely flat. He's going to expose it. All right. So continuing on, verse three says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. All right. So. They're doing this for a reason. And really. Um, 
we know uh, anything that that comes through the Hollywood screen is meant to impose, um, you know, certain spell, you know, cast certain spells. All right, because uh, we know um, um, Hollywood is known for its witchcraft, its sorcery. As a matter of fact, when you jump down, Isaiah forty-seven and uh, twelve, it says, "Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries." Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. All right, and, and this place prides itself on, you know, the left hand, um, you know, witchcraft, you know, the, the sorcery, the predictive programming, or the technology. And he can hide things, you know, right in plain sight. That's part of his enchantment. And even down to um, the, the 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 promotion of the the film, uh, you have um, a poster where it has the the, the names of the actors, uh, uh, and they're listed in a form in a formation where when you uh, align them together on top of each other. You can actually see the word Baal going down horizontally. So, um, they're you know they're intending to you know really cast spells, but like the scriptures say, there's no enchantment against uh, Jacob. Instead, people are actually seeing through this, and they're pointing out the the, the context clues. All right, and, and, and people are catching on. A lot of people are decoding and breaking this down. They got everybody pretty much uh cert, you know, cer uh sir A lot of people are um they're starting to uh you know open their eyes a little bit, you know. So Let's go back to this and let's play this. Found something that's creepy um, that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about. I mean, the wife were playing the find the Easter eggs and leave the world behind. We're looking up the books. We're scanning the QR codes, finding out about the abandoned amusement park. That's an ancient native burial ground. All the fun little tidbits. And I mean, we are searching everything. We're finding books and hidden meanings look up the band of this shirt and what it means now i was trying to see if i could find if his wife's there yeah and there was things that people didn't catch until later on like that ship um the white lion you know that was the name of a slave ship but you know you watch these films for face value or just for entertainment you're not going to catch it and they know that they can slide all kind of information in, knowing that the average person is not going to catch on. A lot of these uh, Americans, man, they're they're not that bright, man. But you can, I mean, <laughs> they put it right, they lay it right in your face, man. All right. But I thought this was interesting because uh, I went and, and and you know did a little research and you know looked this up. And I'm talking about uh, this park. All right, that that QR code that QR code happens to send you to. And um, this is from a uh, road revealed. It says the haunted history of Lake Shawnee amusement park. Right. And um, I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but uh, this gives you insight into this particular uh site all right is it, and, and it, it does look real eerie all right it says it might have been the creepy clown that towered over me its mouth wide enough to swallow me whole that sent shivers down my spine it might have been the chill in the december air that clung to my skin it might also have been one of the many spirits who call the lake shawnee amusement park home arriving to welcome me to their final resting spot looking around at the other wide-eyed guests joining us on our saturday afternoon tour 
I knew that whatever it was, I wasn't alone. So they're basically saying that this is pretty haunted. You know, you know, this, uh, you know, unclean spirits probably hovering around that site. And, you know, why would that be? Could it be because is that that site is a bloody site? It's, it's, it has a bloody history. So let's let's uh, jump down. And I said it, the, the history dates back to 1926. So I'm sure you had some, uh, you know, freak accident deaths, <laughs> final destination type of deaths there. But let me go down to the point that I want to go into. And here it is. And it says, <clears throat> together with a team from Marshall University, the White family discovered artifacts that told the story of the people who originally called the land home. And uh, we know who was here. That was uh, Gad and Reuben. They were here first. Right. Shawnee tribe. That, that, I'm pretty sure that's a Gadite tribe, right? In the 1700s, the, the property was the active home base for the Native Americans until they seemed to suddenly disappear. Among the bracelets, clothing, and tools that excavators found, they also found mass graves that suggested as many as 3,000 Shawnee may have been buried on the property. It was a shocking discovery that further yet another story that played out on the land, that of the Clay family. All right. So obviously, you know, you had Esau, you know, when he came over here and made his conquests, he did. He, he, he committed a mass genocide. He slaughtered a lot of Native Americans, a lot of uh, Gadites. So. You know, I'm 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 not surprised to, to to hear this. This devil didn't did a lot over the last half a century. And that's why at the end he's gonna have to pay up. All right, let me get uh real quick. <clears throat> Lamentations uh four. And it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That dwellest in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. All right, completely uh, exposed, because everything is coming out, and you exposing yourself. You know, whether it's through pride or because the Lord's putting that spirit, you know, in the midst. Because the Lord said, "There's there shall nothing be secret that shall not uh, be made manifest and not come abroad." He said that uh, he will cause thy, thy own tongue to fall upon thyself. So you being completely exposed left and right. And that's why the world is coming against you. So what do you got to do? You got to come down with that great wrath knowing that he had but a short time. That's why you finna, you know, plan your massive, you know, take for uh, your, 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 your evil agenda. You know, to, to, to take full control bring in your, your, your great reset you know uh, uh, usher in the, the MOTB but you got to do it through uh, order out of chaos so we see what the play is man we're not ignorant to Satan's devices it says the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity O daughter of Edom he will discover thy sins. And that's what's currently going on. All right. And this is just more shame, you know. So they put this in a film. All right. Thinking, you know, maybe a few people will catch, you know, catch on to it and, and, and search for these clues and get these, uh, these, these gems. And, and people are actually doing their, 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 their digging. And look at the information that's coming out. All right. It says uh, <clears throat> in the 1770s, Mitchell Clay, his wife, Phoebe, and their children became the, the county's first English settlers. Sorrow did not spare them in their new home. In 1783, members of the Shawnee tribe murdered two of their children. 
Yeah, because they was at war. All right. They they knew of, you know, what you devils were doing when you were expanding westward and taking territory and enslaving everybody. All right. God wasn't they, they wasn't playing around. All right. But it but according to prophecy sake, you know, they got uh, Esau got the, the victory. He, he prevailed. It said that uh, uh, Gad shall a troop shall overcome him. But at the last he will overcome. All right. Continuing on, it says Tabitha and Bartley on the property. Mitchell tracked the tribe members into Ohio, where he found a third child, his son Ezekiel, burned at the stake. All three children were buried on the property, and a monument now stands on the location of their tragic death as a memorial to them. While it may have been the first violent tragedy to take place on the property, it certainly was not the last, especially with regard to children, and it started to make people wonder. Is Lake Shawnee Amusement Park hunted? Right? So, yeah, it has a, you know, it has a history. So they want, you know, they wanted, apparently, that, have, that holds some significance that they would put that as a clue in the film. And I don't know if they are, you know, sending a message that, hey, but if you go there, you might be safe, you know, <laughs> During, you know, when all hell breaks loose, who knows? All right. But uh, to us, you know, it's just more shame on E. All right, Obadiah. Verse 10. And it says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right. And, and you know, shameful spewing shall be upon Thy, thy glory so you know keep keep exposing yourself and uh you know I, i'm not going to read this whole thing i'll leave a link to this in the description of course As a matter of fact let me do that now copy the link and i'll put this in the description but you know nevertheless it was interesting all right and that shows you that we you know with especially with this devil you know, you just got to really uh, be mindful and, 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 and watch them, you know. So, you know, that, that, that's pretty much that. Uh, hopefully this was uh, edifying. Let me give all praise to y'all. Bashmi Shai. Shalom.